today we're going to test out Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. This first video is going to be more of a gameplay and first impressions of the game. So I'll be using the 4090 and we're going to be playing the game at 440p at the max settings with RT enabled as well. I'm not using DLSS yet but I'll enable it as we go through. Okay we're in the settings and for graphics again the max settings pretty much. There we go. Here we go I'm kind of excited. Got another Sony exclusive on the PC. I do have high hopes for this game. I think it's going to run quite well. We did have The Last of Us before, and that was an awful port, but I think this one will actually be good. I was going to say 40 FPS. I spoke too soon, but here we go. 90 FPS. AGP is getting bottled like a little bit here. Sitting at 90% up to 95%. I'll take it, to be honest. I'll take it. Wow. It's actually very smooth, guys. I know it's a 4090 and all, but we've had games that have ran poorly on this system as well, so... Kind of taking it for granted here. Let's go. Give us some ammo real quick. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's not stuttering or lagging at all. And FPS for the system, again, is above 60. On average, sitting in the 80s up into the 90s. Easier scenes up into the 100s. Oops, that's my teammate. Sorry. It's obviously going to be CPU intensive with RT enabled and, uh, and UV distance up as well. And we can use DLSS to hopefully increase the FPS up way above 100. Which I'll try in a second. Let's get past this section here. And we'll see how DLSS does. Whoa, slow-mo. Okay, I know how to aim. It's not my first time playing a shooter. Or this action adventure game. Okay, now using DLSS at the quality preset. As well as frame generation. Let's see what we can get. 200 FPS, guys. That is quite a jump. And the game looks fantastic, to be honest. This looks great. Wow. It looks as good as native 40 p I think we had a stutter there. Kind of in line. I think it was a, a bit of a stuttering happening there. But we'll see as we go. Let's glide down. This game looks gorgeous. Hey. Who's shooting at me? A lot of particles on screen. A lot of action. But we're holding it down. And the game is doing just fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the game is definitely stuttering a little bit here. Definitely getting a bit of stuttering happening. It's not too bad. I think the game has aim assist on keyboard and mouse. That's kind of weird. Let's keep playing though. See if the stuttering keeps up. If it calms down a little bit. Oh yeah. The melee is so satisfying. Look at that. Okay, it's boss fight. I didn't even realize. I think the last time I played a Ratchet & Clank game was on the PSP. So it's been a long time. A long, long time. After this section, let's go up to 4K. No DLSS, but I'll keep RT enabled. We're going to be falling below 60 for sure. But let's just see how we go. If it's bad, I'll enable DLSS. And we go from there. Here we are at 4K, max settings. No DLSS. This game looks absolutely gorgeous. Alright. Again, we have RT enabled. And some RT settings are on PC only, so don't compare it to how it runs on the PS5. And I believe on AMD systems, you don't even get RT for now, but it should come after a couple of updates. I think they're having some issues with it right now. Yep, we're falling below 60, obviously. Not surprised. We're gonna go slam this, right? Boom. There we go. Skip the cutscene, I don't care. It's all about the benchmarks right now. 46 FPS, going up to the 60s now. Use bolts to buy weapons. Yeah, the UI is definitely laggy right now. I can't even lie. The UI is definitely lagging. So right now we're getting like 40 FPS up to like the mid 60s. It's quite decent for 4K with RT enabled at the max preset. And again, a bunch of the RT settings are exclusive to PC. So it'll be a bit more intensive, obviously. Okay, spamming nades is actually a good test. We can see all the particles flying and how it handles it. Okay, I'm, I'm holding the middle mouse. I kind of like... Oh, okay. We got to use the pistol again. We're out of ammo. Damn. Ow. Yeah, it's it's pretty choppy, guys. I can't even lie. On keyboard and mouse, you know, sitting in the 50s, up into the 60s, doesn't feel great. Especially since it's not very stable. But using DLSS should fix this quite easily. So, let's pause it here. Enable DLSS. And see what we can do. Now playing the game with DLSS at the balance preset, we're sitting in the 120s and 140s. 
This feels way smoother, guys, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's go over here. Oh, that's sick. Knock this guy out. The game is so fluid at this point. Feels great. Oh, can't go through there. Kind of in line, the meleeing is so fun. So satisfying. There's a lot of action here, a lot of particles. FPS is falling down into the low 100s. But still feels fine. Let's go this way. We're going indoors. Should be a bit easy to run. I guess the reflections could make it a bit harder at the same time, I guess. It's quite balanced. So, I don't know. Might be quite balanced, who knows. Wait, hold on. I didn't see the VRAM until now. 16 gigs, almost 17 at 4K max settings with RT enabled. That is quite high. So the 3080 is going to be struggling quite a bit. And system RAM is at 20, which is also high as well, kind of. If you've got 16 gigs and lower VRAM, then uh, I wouldn't really want to use RT and have it at max settings. You know, tone it down a little bit, and you play at the high settings, and it should keep everything in check. Let's play for a little bit longer. And then uh, we'll end the video there. And then I can do the 3080 video next. It'll be quite exciting to see how that card does at the max settings. And overall, the optimization is quite decent. It's actually playable, you know? We had the... Um, like Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That was unplayable in every system, pretty much. Had stutters, had FPS dips. Just very unpolished. But this game, which was a Sony exclusive, is doing a much better job on PC. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.